Hello and welcome to a chip off your old block toys. I'm Jeff and today I'm at the Discovery Gateway Children's Museum in Salt Lake City where my lug has set up a nice layout as well as the NMRA. We're, let's go over there and let's see what they've got. But before we do that, let's hit the like button and subscribe. So let's start over in this corner and here we have a custom rail car. Uh, this was built by our member Rob and also the Statue of Liberty here. And yes, um, we've got the brand new Oh, they're over there, so never mind. But we've got some of the um, plant life here. The Shag War from uh, Austin Powers. And also you've got the Christmas ornament gift with purchases that just came out yesterday. And you got Ninja Turtles right here hanging out. And you got the uh, Famous Mountain by Rob. And then we have the Bricklink Designer set, the Winter Chalette right there, that was in one of my videos there a couple days ago. And then we've got a little bit of a main street going here with the pet stop, pet shop, excuse me, and a few other customized modulars there. And we've got a dirt road with Santa Claus, some elves and Christmas trees some lakes with some miniature uh, pirate ships there and we've got a bit of a winter christmas village going right there in the middle a train station and we've got a little bit of a mobile home it looks like santa claus or somebody like him's there a train station there we have the grand emporium here the town center the grocery bring grocer and we've got the police station. We've got a modified assembly square over here. And let's see, corner cafe, the boutique motel, McDonald's, and another brick link designer. Let's go over here, bowling alley. And here is another set that was just released yesterday. And that's the, I don't know what it's called, but it's the plants. Got a bit of a farmer's market going there. The Firehouse Brigade and a library mock. And also Avengers Tower, Grand Lion Hotel over there. And then we've got a, the original Daily Bugle there uh, next to the large Daily Bugle. Also released yesterday is the Orient Express here, it's almost done. Just missing the front of the train, but the rest of it is complete. And there will be a video on that here in the next day or two. Included in our shows is two interactive displays. Now, I only got video of one. The bridge building, I failed to do it again. I had it on my mind that I was gonna film it later, but I just didn't. Uh, the other one is the sumo bot wrestling. The sumo bot wrestling, I did get a video of it and I'll show it to you right after this. The Sumo Bot Wrestling is using the LEGO EV3. It's similar power functions. You build two robots, you stick them on a round platform with a black edge and a white middle, and they seek and find each other, and they try to push each other off, and the robot that pushes the other robot off first wins. So it's Sumo Wrestling, kind of, but just using the EV3. And as part of this, I, I do have a video, but I also wanted to let you know that Bunkster's Bricks, the, sh the shop that I talk about a lot here on the channel in Ogden, Utah, uh, starting in January, they're going to have a class each month, January, February, March, and each class is going to show you how to build the robots, how to program them, and the last one will be the tournament where they challenge each other and they, yeah, they go at it. Bunkster's Bricks, if you're interested, is located at 3701 Washington Boulevard, Suite A in Ogden, Utah. Uh, if you've never been there before, the building faces Washington Boulevard, but you go on the side street there, and they're almost in the basement. There's a step or two down, but it's not quite in the basement, and that's Suite A on the bottom there. And if you want to sign up, I believe it's $20. Don't hold me to that. I'm not an expert at that. But now I'm going to have my friend Jim demonstrate a sumo bot wrestling match.
Almost found each other there. Oh, there we go. Now that we demonstrated the sumo bot wrestling, I took some still pictures of the show. And the reason I did this is that this was an extremely difficult show to film at. The sound carried, it echoed uh, a little way too much, and it was hard to find a moment where there weren't people around. And so when I filmed, I was very rushed. And even though clearly I had my phone out and I was talking to my phone and filming, people came up and talked to me in the middle of my filming. I had to do a lot of editing. And in fact, there's areas I skipped just because I couldn't get a video without someone talking to me. So um, the next uh, little bit is going to demonstrate, or not demonstrate, but show you some pictures of the show. Well, guys, that wraps it up for this show. It was a great show. I really enjoyed it. Salt Lake City is a good city in most places. Some places are not, but like any city, it's got its good and great. It's good and its bad parts. Overall, it's good. It's a fun venue. The venue hosts were really gracious to us and nice. I like this venue, and I hope we, we can do this one in the future. We've done it the last three years, so hopefully we'll do it again. And uh, we got a couple more shows coming up. Uh, the next show that I know of, and we're not exactly 100% sure, but the Great Train Show in February at the Salt Lake City Fairgrounds. And if that one happens, I'll let you know. But uh, last year we were invited to that show, and we only got the invitation literally like two or three weeks before it happened. So if it happens again, it'll be short notice, but uh, we're ready. We've done that show before. We know about it. So hopefully that'll be our next show, and I will definitely have that available to you as a video if we do that show. All right, guys, a uh, couple things. If you'll hit the like button, subscribe, comment below, and turn on all notifications. I currently do a live stream or a video almost every day. And if you want to hear from me and know when I put it out, hey, hit that notification and turn it on all. All right, if you guys want to support this channel, a couple different ways. First is monetary. If you have the money and means to do so and you have the generosity in your heart, please head over to PayPal me. Link's in the description. Hit it and uh, make a donation. If you don't have monetary means, that is perfectly legitimate and fine. I, it's fine. Head over to BrickLink if you want to buy pieces for your builds. That way you get pieces, but yet I get the money. That's, one, that's another way to help out. Links in the description. We have about a million pieces. We ship within 24 business hours. Another way you can help me out is by watching another video right after this one. That tickles the algorithm. It loves it, so please do it. Another way you can help out the channel is to be my marketing department by sharing a link to this video or any other video on other social media platforms. Just get the word out for me that we've got a great channel. We're here. We do our best. And we've got some cool dad jokes and other things going on here. All right, guys. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you on my next video.